the 11 to 1 comp ratio there's only a little bit of a, a dome height on there and then there's a CTR and also there's a the type R DC5 type R this is the type S in my opinion I really believe that I can run this engine as is You saw it earlier that I have put on some napkins, pieces of napkins on the rocker arms. That way I can lock all the VTEC pins. So they're all locked in place. The number four and number three only. And I also put some clay on the number four and number three pistons. And I think I'm ready to uh, give this thing a turn. Uh, before I do that, one of my subscriber was, uh, he left a message. about the uh, the pistons if that is the way you put on or you install the pistons k20 pistons when you're building a g23 well like i said earlier uh, i'm taking advantage on the wrist pin offset i wanted it just like how an f23 piston will be installed it has something to do with the stress on the cylinder walls. So we will find out if there is an up clearance on there. That way you would have a uh, peace of mind. That we will gonna see if there's an up clearance on there. This is pretty much like a stock build. All I'm having on this one actually is just the, uh, the intake and the exhaust. But if you are thinking about uh, Installing a high lift cams, uh, I would highly advise that you clay your motor. But something like this, that I'm just using a base camshaft together with the USDM 11 to 1 comp ratio pistons, uh, it, there's really no 
I, I should not be worried about it. On the last one that I built for my nephew, uh, you have seen it earlier. I'm, I'm going to uh, show a clip of it that we are using a uh, CTR piston, I believe, or one of the, one of the other two. Um, I have to shave the exhaust reliefs on the pistons because I was worried at the time that it might smack the camshafts. So, uh, yeah, I shaved that area. I think I'm ready to uh, give this thing a spin. What's going on? You won't turn. see that let's see if this thing makes anything right there for the intake Uh, the exhaust, I guess I didn't give it enough time to uh, to rotate. I saw the why the belt jump one teat, I stopped. And, but I should not be worried about the exhaust because of the uh, valve relief is so big on this one. Remember, it's the other way around. But here, this is what I'm concerned of right here. Let's do a little bit of analyzing here. This is the valve right here. And this is where it meet right about here in this area. Okay, we don't need this part. We know that we have plenty of uh, clearance there on top so what we are concerned of is right on the relief on the piston cut this off that way we will see ah, that's okay I still have half of it And I will do the same thing on this side. Okay, right, hold on, let me, <laughs> before I do that, all right, it's match. I've got plenty of clearance on the inboard side right here. And it's getting skinnier and skinnier towards this side right here. I'm not sure if the camera can pick up the thickness right there let me see if I could take one side off That's how much clearance it has. Let me get a, a uh, I'm gonna see if I could uh, measure it with the, the dial indicator.
Alright, that's zero. There, about thirty five, thirty five thousand. Yeah, yeah, it looks like about thirty five thousand. So, give and take. It looked like that it, it did clear the crown right here yeah it cleared yeah it did just barely barely clearing it right here this is the, yeah. So the exhaust relief, the K20 piston exhaust relief is really just right on the intake valves of the H22. But there is a gap. So we know that there's a gap. I really believe that uh, I can run this engine without doing anything onto this. Now that I know that there's about 35,000 of an inch clearance on there. More or less. But I want to make it better. What I'm going to do, I'm going to shape this area. Right there. With the one with the mark. I'm going to copy like just like this. I want to get those together that way I will have more clearances for some of you guys a beginner that has a doubt um, there it is right there you saw it if you are building a G23 it's up to you if you wanna install it like this or install it normal yeah very interesting uh, now we all know okay um, I have no problem shaving this one. I still want the, uh, the wrist pin offset just like the F23 pistons. I apologize for not giving it uh, a full turn. I just saw the, uh, the timing belt jump. Uh, I think it's because of the uh, maybe the camshaft is a little bit too tight. This is not the original setup, the cam caps for this head I think that has something to do with it something that I need to check before I put this motor together yeah and this is where I'm going to end this video thank you for watching like and subscribe and I'll see you all back bye everyone bye bye